What hormone supplement does the Grim Reaper take to get buff? Death Tosterone. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, my friends. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I didn't think you'd make it through that one without cracking. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of that one. I think that, I think that one came out pretty good. Oh. We were having dinner. We were having dinner when I when I when I came up with that one. <laughs> I told Jelly, and she put her hands, she put her head in her hands, and she said, she said, I don't have enough spices to wipe in my eyes to distract me from the pain. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was my indication that it would be a good one. Uh, let me say hello to everybody. Yake is first in chat tonight. Great to see you, Yake. Thank you for joining us. And uh, Loyal, close behind. Loyal, I hope you're. Uh, I hope you're doing well today. I. Uh, I saw the. Uh, I saw the image that you posted in the. Uh, I saw the image that you posted in the uh, Discord uh, a little while ago that uh, suggested that life might be kind of rough. So I'm. Uh, just want you to know I'm pulling for you, my friend. I hope that uh, tonight you'll have an opportunity to uh, enjoy yourself and uh, forget about the cares of the world as I uh, do a bit of struggling. <laughs> uh, hope you're having a great day. Thank you, Loyal. Um, gonna stay up late tonight and hang out. My party night. All right. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yake says this song is a bop. <laughs> so most of the music, it's it's usually something created by Sparrow. And uh, you can use Sparrow's name as a command if you want to check out his uh, his uh, stream or his uh, SoundCloud page. Um, he's got a lot of music there. He's got stuff there that uh, he's made for uh, he's made for other streams and made for himself. So you you'll find stuff there too that you won't necessarily hear on uh, on this stream. Um, Jelly, welcome in. Thank you for being here, even though you knew what terrible joke was coming. Uh, I sure love hearing Sparrow's rad tunes to get things going. Yeah, he's got a he's got some he's got some wild talent that Sparrow. And uh, Conga, great to have you here, Conga Line Monkey. I hope you're doing well today, and your Wednesday has uh, gone just fine. Um, Yake, uh, if you're interested, yeah, if you're interested in a, uh, in a Discord invite, are you not in the, uh, Discord? Perhaps, uh, Jelly can, uh, perhaps Jelly can send you an invite. And Greg, welcome in Greg's Retro Channel. Pleasure to have you here as always. Alright, if you, uh... If you could, Jelly, if you have a moment. If I can figure it out, I certainly will. All right. All right. I'll write a I'll write a note and if it's if it's too esoteric for you, Jelly, then I'll uh, ask cows a little later or send one myself. Cuz we we definitely be happy to have you, Yake. Join the Discord, it's always a great place. Uh, it's, uh, the Discord is, is, is slowly growing. It's, uh, you know, I don't use it, I don't use it nearly as much as I, as I should. Um, which is sad, which is sad because it, because it, it it's my Discord channel, right? But... 
our server, but uh, we're uh, we're getting more. Uh, it's getting more and more active as uh, as time goes by. So uh, tonight, my friends, we've got uh, we've got two things to do. <laughs> we are gonna do uh, see the Contra Adventure. I uh, picked up a copy of this game. It's uh, it appears to be an X rental copy, and it's not in the greatest of shape. So I don't know if the uh, I don't know if it's gonna be very functional. So, but we're gonna try to play that. We're gonna try to play that. Uh, for the bulk of our stream tonight. Um, mostly to test out the disc. <laughs> uh, but I, I couldn't help myself. We have to do a little bit of Castlevania first. Um, we're working on uh, Whip Only, trying to get a Deathless run. We've done we've done really well on a couple of these runs. Last night, last night started super rough. Worst night I've had in a long time. Uh, but by the end, uh, we had a run that was only one death. I lost a life to Frankenstein. Uh, if that hadn't happened, that would have been the deathless run, because uh, Frankenstein Frankenstein is an obstacle, but the Grim Reaper is the major obstacle. So we'll do a run or two. Uh, I'm going to try not to do too many of them. So like I said, I want to leave plenty of time for the Contra adventure. But uh, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to miss an opportunity to maybe make... Uh, to maybe make history with our first, uh, our first whip-only Deathless run. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Conga says, I told my fiance about your nightly joke and eye contact ritual. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, jokes, jokes of the, uh, of the quality that you get around here are, um, they need, they need some time to sink in, so... It's good that we give them a moment. A long, awkward moment. <laughs> I'm really I'm really happy with that joke too, because it's on November sixteenth. So one thing that I'm one thing I'm conscious of, because I do clip the jokes and put them together in little uh, highlights videos. One thing I'm conscious of is uh, the joke I tell on the 1st of the month and the 16th of the month because I know that, that those will be at the top of whatever video they're included in. <laughs> I don't try to make them extra good or anything. <laughs> I should. <laughs> it's usually after the fact. It's usually afterwards that I think about, oh, that's a terrible joke to open the video with, or, oh, that one I'm pretty proud of. Also ran some of your fajita spices by her, and she was basically, nope. <laughs> I should warn you. I should have warned you. I, I do, I like my food incredibly spicy. I mean, I use, I use habanero peppers in basically everything I, uh, basically everything I cook. <laughs> my family has tender stomachs. Though I mean, with those uh, with those kinds of spices, a little goes a long way. If you've got a very if you've got a very delicate touch, you can uh, you can add just enough to uh, to get the flavor from most of them without turning the heat up too much. I mean, habaneros you definitely want to cut out. Uh, Derek Ocean, welcome in. Happy to see you. Um, I'm all on board, but I have to please my audience. This is true. This is true when you're cooking for more than just yourself. Although, I mean, 
Jelly Jelly wishes I would make my stuff less spicy sometimes, but uh <laughs> on the other hand if I if I'm the one doing the cooking, then uh everyone else is at my mercy. <laughs> I regularly nope the spices too, Jelly says, yet they make their way into every recipe. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to try it. Uh, we're going to try and get a run off the ground, my friends. Let's start pushing. Let's start pushing some buttons. So where I where I am, you, although you can't see it in the uh, in the archive, where I am with the uh, like trimming the highlights videos from the stream, I'm up to the beginning of uh, I'm up to the beginning of the Powerpuff and Scooby Doo marathon that we did. Um, but I, not quite the beginning. I'm a, I'm a little ways in um, because I just I just finished trimming the highlights videos for um the scooby-doo movie game on game boy advance <sighs> and uh powerpuff girls him and seek and what a what a pair of games because that scooby-doo game was terrible <laughs> and i actually had a laugh at myself because uh at the end credits of that game i didn't remember this at the end credits of that of that game, there's a me there's a thank you for playing message that has like a a cartoon drawing of the of the dev team. <laughs> and when that came up on the screen, I was like, I was like, here they are, here they are, the five villains responsible for making this game. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I pretty much still feel that way. <laughs> But uh, Powerpuff Girls, uh, him, Powerpuff Girls, him and Seek, can't recommend that game enough. That game is a lot of fun. Uh, Derek says not too bad. You, I'm I'm doing well. Derek, spirits are high. I made chicken and potatoes tonight. Got a chicken quarters, I think. It's like a thigh and leg combined. I got a package of those and uh, made a uh, marinade for them. That's uh, lemon juice, olive oil, oregano, salt, pepper, cayenne, and garlic, and uh, uh, red pepper flakes. Marinated the chicken for a couple hours, and I use the same uh, marinade on the uh, potatoes, and we roasted them in the oven. I did the potatoes uh, differently than we usually do too. Usually I cut them into like wedges, but this time I just cut them into thin sheets. So, I mean, not that thin, like a like a quarter of an inch thick. So they're like really great big thick potato chips. They came out fantastic. It's a wonderful meal.
I love the Scooby-Doo game you did, <laughs> Loyal says. I mean, there were, a, there were a lot of them, and I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed the streams because the games are pretty rough. Uh, the streams of those games are rather are rather fond memories. The games themselves, not so much. Your suffering was worth it all. <laughs> uh. These platforms have been ruining my runs lately. I don't know what it is about them, but I've uh, I've been losing my feel for their timing more and more. If you haven't been here, um, in addition to our to our whip only uh, deathless run that we're gonna eventually achieve. Um, we're also gonna do an any percent damageless run. I've uh, I've determined that uh, that damageless is uh, within my ability if I allow myself to use the sub weapons. So we're gonna we're gonna grind for that one after we get this run. And I, you know, I'm inviting bad luck, but I think we'll get it pretty quickly too, because the uh, the one uh, I've only made one attempt at it as a like a trial attempt and the one attempt I made I only took damage four times and all four are manageable dinner sounded amazing for you tonight that's the dinner of a king <laughs> it came out it came out well I was really happy with it uh, I really like I really like those uh, chicken quarters too um, really nice uh, it makes for a really nice portion of meat I'm uh, I know I'm missing uh, quite a bit of the chat I'll, I'll catch up with you at a, at a convenient time my friends I'd never seriously entertained the thought of a damageless run of this game, but since we've been doing the whip only, I've gotten I've gotten pretty decent at most of the stages to where I've made it through uh, each of them in isolation a few times without taking any hits, and so it. It has kind of occurred to me, like, well, I'm, I'm doing so well at the stages that if I have the sub-weapons to cheese the bosses with, I think I can actually do this. No! Rip the damageless whip-only run. That one is never going to happen. We're never, we're, we're never going to do whip only damage list.
my strategy for <laughs> my strategy for like 60% of the bosses is just to stand my ground and wail on them and tank the damage. So <laughs> so damage list is out of the question. Those games looked awful. The uh, the uh, the jank marathon. Yeah, P Powerpuff Girls, him and seek. That game is not. That game is a good. I'm happy I played that game. It was easily the best game of the uh, marathon. The Scooby games. It'd be harder to pick a winner out of those. I have to reflect on them for a bit. Probably the SNES game or the uh, Nintendo 64 classic creep capers. And invincibility is trying to mess up my life. Christian Cool, welcome in. Thank you for the uh, lurk. I'm gonna pick up that meat. guys are ruining me. No. That was so very close. The run is still alive. Ideally, I wouldn't. Ideally, I don't want to pick up the meat, but as you can see, I kind of needed it. An argument could be made, like, um, that, um, uh, 
the invincibility item would be acceptable to pick up on a whip only run because it's a defensive item. Um, the rosary would still be banned because that's offensive, but... I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree with that argument, but... I can see a certain logic to it. Here we go, is death gonna destroy our run? I don't like being down here. Uh, no. Victory. This is the furthest we've ever made it on one life. Cross your fingers for a good stage six. <laughs> coming for me. Rip the run. No. <sighs> I think I jumped too early. cry. <laughs> this could have been the one. It 
Skeleton. Just go for it, take the hit. It's not a big deal. Stevie and Major, good to see you, Stevie. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I don't know how long you've been here, but I uh, I made it to stage six on a single life, and then I got killed by a bat. We almost had it. I actually beat death on the first try. And then I died. And then I died afterwards. Sir Rack of Lamb, good to see you. Hope your Wednesday's going well. You can manipulate him into doing a high jump at pretty much any time, but sometimes, sometimes he just decides he's going to do one regardless of the manipulation, so. You do have to be on your toes just a little bit. Victory. Oh, that was so close. Excuse me just a moment, my friends. coffee nice and hot got a little bowl of cheese i got a bowl of grapes blackberries and raspberries thank you jelly for all these wonderful treats thank you for the gg conga so for anyone if you weren't here or if you missed it that was another that was our second one death run i made it all the way to stage six on a single life i got past death on a single life and then I got, and then I got killed by a bat. We got so close. Uh, I'm gonna rewind the, uh, gonna rewind the chat a moment because I know I missed a lot of stuff from earlier. Uh, I may be, I may read a bunch of comments that don't seem to have context anymore. <laughs> um.
Derek said, watched a really good Western today you never saw called Young Guns. I've heard of that. I've heard it's pretty good, but haven't watched it. Haven't seen that in about 30 years, Conga said. Loyal said, gotta admit, I'm always in a good mood when hanging out here. It feels like a slumber party at your buddies, and we get a game. <laughs> Thank you, Loyal. Thank you. I like. I love that description. Dinner sounded amazing. <laughs> Mom, I'm staying at Frownies tonight. <laughs> uh, 100% can we stay the night at Frownies again? <laughs> Um, those games looked awful. They, they did. In the morning, I'm making waffles. Oh my goodness, I love waffles. I call Top Punk. And Jelly said, we have two leftover chickens. I'll mail them to you. The package may be a bit soggy. <laughs> uh... Been on a western kick, Derek says. Played some Red Dead tonight. Haven't uh, haven't played much of that. I did play a little bit of Red Dead Redemption. Um, but I didn't get very far in it. Greg <laughs> says, uh, as I was getting up, I heard something about a whip-only hitless run. Is that even possible? Not for me, Greg. <laughs> Not for me. My strategy for the bosses requires taking damage. Amazing and tragic, but mostly cool, Stevie says. Thank you. Uh, past death, no deaths. Way to go. Thank you, Greg. Sad to lose it. Thank you for the hydrate, Stevie. All right, we're all caught up now. All we need for the sleepover is some pizza rolls. Mountain Dew and Cheetos. <laughs> That's the rack of lamb says. <sighs> All right. Well, we we've got after that. We have to do another one. It's usually diminishing returns. If I achieve a new PB, it's usually it's usually all downhill after that. No death run, here we go. We'll see. We'll see. I mean it'd be nice, but I'm not gonna hold my breath for it. Making it to stage six on one life is is uh is really good though. I'm I feel happy about that. I think I am kind of happy that run died in a way, though, because I did eat the meat on that run. And I do kind of think that the that the real run has to be meatless.
I just kind of think it's against the spirit of the project if I'm having meat. Meatless, you should create all speedrun criteria. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. No whip, no holy water, and meatless. I don't know that I... I don't know that I understand where Luigi's Mansion arises from that. Oh, just all games should have those criteria. Should all games should have should have a meatless category. <laughs> oh, it's quiet. Too quiet. I picked up a I picked up a cross. That's that's why the reset. Now that I'm getting better at the run, I've got to be more strict about not touching the items. It's always a, it's always a shame when I take damage before the bat on this stage. I haven't had a lot of sleep, Conga says. Uh, I'm taking tons of damage. This bat fight is going to be really scary. Sleepless in Castlevania, Derek says. Uh... The furthest I've made it on a on a, an any percent uh, damageless attempt is Frankenstein. The furthest I've made it without taking damage whip only has been to Medusa. But that's the uh, that's a that's a big roadblock roadblock for a, for damageless whip only. <laughs> I don't know how to uh, I don't know how to defeat Medusa without taking damage with only the whip. It might be possible, but I kind of fear that it it's a uh, it'll be RNG dependent. Did you get the snow you were expecting? It just uh, started snowing off and on here in northern northern Idaho. Yeah, we uh we we got a bit of snow um 
It's not a, not actually that I was expecting snow. It's that we we got some snow the other day. Um, I didn't even know it was coming. But we've had like uh, three or four inches. Just, uh, I'm not exactly sure how the no music glitch works. It's, it seems to be just that if you let the, uh, if you let the demo play for a while, that's what triggers the glitch. Hello, cows. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday, my friend. that's how you do Medusa with no damage. You'd have to, uh, you'd have to go to the right and jump over, jump over. I think we have about a half inch now, but the temp is in the low teens. It's been, it's been right around freezing, um, every time I've looked, but I haven't kept a close eye on it. Good. It's my kind of weather. It's dark and it's cold and there's lots of snow. Well, there's a little bit of snow. There will be lots of snow soon enough. How do you feel about Super Castlevania? A lot of people like Super Castlevania a whole lot. I'm not a big fan of it. But I've only ever played it once, so... I might like it more if I play it if I play it more. As it is, um, Castlevania Four. Castlevania Four has incredible, has amazing music. The music in Castlevania Four is just undeniably superb. Um, aesthetics, the aesthetics of Castlevania 4, I'm a bit torn on. I like the way some of the stuff looks, but not all of it. And the gameplay, I'm, uh, the gameplay's the big reason why I'm not the biggest fan. I like the more restricted gameplay of the older Castlevanias. Sorry, I'm trying to hold back a sneeze. They uh, they made the whip way too overpowered, and they made Simon's sprite gigantic in Castlevania 4. I don't like it when video games have a really gigantic character sprite for the player character. And Simon in Castlevania 4 is just humongous.
If you want to play a 16-bit Castlevania game, go with uh, Bloodlines on the Genesis. That's what I say. Though, uh, also, m probably most people would disagree with me. <laughs> what is this snow you speak of, Cow says? <laughs> it's this, uh, it's this substance of myth and legend. <laughs> Castlevania 1 and 2, Loyal says. Yeah, Castlevania 1 is my... It's probably my favorite, but... I mean, it, it is my favorite, but I acknowledge there's room for that to change as I play more of the games in the series more frequently. Wow. It's harder to dodge the items than it is to dodge the enemies. No. That's not the kind of jump I wanted to do. I'm not picking up that meat. If the run dies, it dies. The run's gonna die. <laughs> Damageless Frankenstein? Oh no. What have I done? Have you played them all? I have not. Um, uh, there, there are a handful of Castlevanias I've never played. Um, let me see. I've never played Castlevania Legends on Game Boy. Uh, Rondo of Blood. There's a Rondo of Blood remake that I've never played. Uh, Dracula X I've never played. Um, uh... Aria of Sorrow, Harmony of Dissonance, Harmony of Despair. Are there two Castlevanias with Harmony in the title? Um, Dawn of Sorrow and Portrait of Ruin I've never played. Uh, Castlevania Judgment I've never played or any of the like God of War style games. Oh, and I've never played Legacy of Darkness. Uh, Bloodlines is amazing. Castlevania 64 is great also. Now you're speaking my language, Loyal. I love both of those games. Those are probably my top three Castlevanias. Number Castlevania 1, Castlevania 64, and Castlevania Bloodlines. Though... Again, there's a lot of the series that I haven't played, and there's a lot of them I've only played once. The Glitch Gremlin. Oh, the music.
It was 80 degrees for me today, Cal says. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I saw the second part, but not the first. Oh, 80 degrees. That's like the peak of summer. <laughs> Big head mode, Loyal says. I love that you say this because I feel the same. Greg says, bigger fan of the Metroidvania Castlevanias. I didn't realize there were so many. Yeah, there's a ton. There's a ton. Greg says, Portrait of Ruin, Aria of Sorrow, and Harmony of Dissonance for me. Top three. Boat Ladder, good to see you, my friend. Hope you're well today. Welcome to some Castlevania. We had an amazing run just a little while ago. I made it all the way to stage six on a single life. It was almost the deathless run. But a bird took it away from me. A bat, I mean. A bat took it away from me. If you want to play the worst Castlevania, that's an arcade game called Haunted Castle. I'm, uh... I'm actually kind of tempted to learn to do Haunted Castle Deathless, though. There's a port of it on the Switch that I don't recommend playing. That game was awful. I well, I was tempted to I was tempted to to try and learn it deathless because I beat I've actually beaten it twice. After we did it on the stream, I actually played and beat it off stream <laughs> about a week later. And and when I did that, I was like I was like, well, this is a game. I could probably get good at this game. And that and that evil thought has not left the back of my mind. Haunted Castle Haunted Castle is just a weird game because it's it's such a it's such a bad game but I just I don't know I just I kind of like I kind of like how terrible it is That's... 
That's no good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I looked up all the Castlevania games. Did you know that technically Kid Dracula is part of the franchise? Yeah. Um, I have Kid Dracula on the Famicom. We played it one night. I didn't make it all the way through. Um, we'll have to play it again, but I don't have my Famicom hooked up. Um, it's on the anniversary collection. Is it the, on the anniversary collection, it's the Game Boy version, right? Uh, you have a Famicom, Loyal says? I do. I do. I have the Model 2 Famicom. It looks like, uh, it's not like the red one. It's, uh, It, it looks like the Model 2 NES. Uh, I did not know this. Today I learned, Rack of Lamb says. I don't have a lot of Famicom games. I only have a, I only have a few. I have Kid Dracula, uh, Gargoyle's Quest, Mega Man 4 and 5. I have some weird baseball game that I don't know what it's called. It's got a... Very strange cartridge. Um, I've got some game uh, about giant robots that I don't know what it's called. Um, I have one or two of the Dragon Warrior games, I think. I might have gotten rid of those. Um, I might have I might have traded those away because I didn't figure I was going to ever be able to play them. Um. And I've got one weird multi-cart that has eight mystery games on it. I don't know what they are. It's got a picture of Sonic on the cartridge. For whatever reason. Uh, it's the Famicom Kid Dracula in the collection. Oh, cool. You can always use more Sonic. Is that is that something the is that something the people are clamoring for? More Sonic on the stream? I guess the last Sonic game we tried playing was Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And I gotta say, I, I went into that game with the wrong expectations. <laughs> that game uh, that game was so much harder than I expected. I think it's to make the Famicom faster, because you gotta go fast when you're Sonic. So I have heard. <laughs> My response, though, my response to that statement, that you gotta go fast when you're Sonic, I invite you to watch any of the Sonic VODs in my archive. <laughs> there you will see that you most definitely do not gotta go fast. Uh, you will find the slowest, the slowest Sonic playthroughs in all of recorded history. Losses, welcome in.
I've heard Sonic 06 is pretty fantastic. I believe that's the general consensus. No one's ever said a bad thing about it, Derek says. Uh, I found a Gyromite game that has the Famicom adapter. Picked up a Famicom Mappy Land just to see if it would work. Did it? Going fast in Sonic was how I lost all my lives on level one every time I played it. It did not work. Sad. Bad copy. Gyromite was one of the games that I had as a kid, and I knew nothing about Rob the Robot. I didn't know about I didn't know about that probably till I was uh Maybe till I was in high school. I'd never heard of such a thing, but I had gyromite. And I would play it with my, uh, I'd play gyromite with my sister. And she would play, unknowingly, she would play Rob's part. We just thought, always thought it was just a weird two-player game. Good old no music glitch. I love it. I love the uh, starkness of it. just a little too high. No! Why is, why is this fight turning so ugly in the last moments? I always hit reset when there's no music, Greg says. I can handle, I can handle a stage without the music. It seems more serious without it. makes you appreciate the stage 2 music a lot more. focus. Are you excited for Contra Adventure? Um, yeah, I hope it, uh, I hope it works. 
I'm looking forward to it. I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if we're ever going to make it to it, though. I'd like to complete just one more run of this. It's a uh, PlayStation 1. I uh, heard a piece of the bass line that I've never focused on before for the first time. No, I was going to listen for it again, but then the music changed. wild how many it's wild how many layers there can be to the music in a NES game and so frequently I just I just hear the melody If I catch any of the mo if I catch any of the music at all. Come on, platforms, don't fall on my head. Come 
Are those the only one-hit kill objects in the game? I know there are death pits, but is there any other... Is there any other object that kills you in one hit like that? I don't think I can think of anything. Kind of weird, kind of weird that those seem to be unique. Greg says no. Yeah, I think you're right. I can't think of anything else. Those bone towers are scary. <laughs> I don't like the way those birds behave. close. Thank you for the palm scows.
Great. If they're gonna drop an item, I'd really prefer they drop it behind me. See you later, Bone Dragon. No! Uh... <sighs> Why? Why have I taken so much damage to these guys? Ah! Uh... It's ruining my night! We just may not get another, uh, another good run. We're here with you, brother. Thank you, Loyal. I love how, uh, I love how heavy Simon is. <laughs> when you fall off of a height, like, he lands with, with some real impact. He's a solid lad. It's just, it's very satisfying to control a character with some weight. Fireball. You don't say. I don't feel like I often see fireballs from this guy. That's rare. Uh, another one. Maybe he's always shooting them. I'm just never paying attention. All right, good. Get out of here. Everyone needs to watch Castlevania on Netflix. It's amazing, Derek says. I, uh, I know my sister really liked the uh, Castlevania show.
Yeah, there's a there's an animated show on Netflix. Quite a bit, Cow says. I don't like that those fireballs are low enough to jump into. I don't like it because I do that. Ferrum Tusk, welcome in Tusk. Hope you're doing well today. I'm doing pretty I'm doing pretty good. I'm uh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling with this game like I usually do. <laughs> we had a great run. The first run of the night was uh, was amazing. I uh, made it all the way to stage 6 on a single life, but it, I lost it. So it was heartbreaking. And I haven't been able to uh, I haven't been able to get another run all the way to the finish line since. Things keep going bad for me. Anyone know of Super Noah's Ark? It's like uh, Doom, but for Noah and his animals. I've, uh, I've heard of it. played it myself though. Uh, I love that id gave their game that gave that game their blessing, Kanga says. supposed to be a reskin of uh, Wolfenstein, right? Thank you. 
don't know about thank you, Loyal, but I, I think there there are some pretty I think there's some pretty tremendous gaps in my knowledge. Every now and then though I you know I hear about something and it sticks somewhere in my mind. <laughs> Get hit by the bone snakes. Don't get hit by the bone snakes. It's all over. Ah. Miraculously, we lived. All right. Well, this this run is gonna complete. Um, <laughs> no more resets. Actually, I say that, but if we game over, if we if we game over, we might just call it. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna use a continue, but, uh, this run has a chance at, uh, completing.
Here's something food related I've been thinking about. Does anyone know a good savory preparation for oatmeal? I always hear uh, oats uh, seem to always be prepared sweet. Is it possible to make a is it possible to make a good like meat dish with oatmeal? go. Some meat load has oatmeal in it. I bought two giant containers of oats because they're on sale. <laughs> And so, like, I was just wondering, I was wondering about what to do with them for, like, a savory dish so I don't have to eat fruit and, fruit and oats every day to use them up. <laughs> yeah, like, oats with milk and fruit, you know, is, is good, but... I don't know, I wouldn't prefer to have it every day. And I usually don't get tired of stuff like that, but I don't have much of a sweet tooth. spot. No! Ah, oh, that was so close. Ah. Oh. I'm... I'm physically hurt from losing that. Uh. We were there. He had two hits left. We made it all the way there. We didn't use any meat. I didn't pick up any items. It was perfect. I mean, it was terrible. I was just barely scraping by at every moment, but <laughs> it met all of my arbitrary rules. Uh... Mix it with meat for sausages. Make oat cakes and eat them with meat. Sure, there are plenty of porridge-style dishes with oats. Do you like shrimp? I do like shrimp. Savory oatmeal and cheddar with hard-boiled eggs. I'd be a little bit scared of that because I'm, uh, I'm very hesitant 
to eat cheese mixed in with anything. Pretty sure you can use oats as batter for deep frying too. That might be an idea. I think that's what words is that what you were getting at with with the shrimp question, Loyal? I could I could batter my batter my shrimp and roll it in oats. That might be good. I really, uh, I really like shrimp, but, uh, Jelly doesn't eat any seafood, so I make it very rarely. Shrimp and chicken oatmeal. Hope has been extinguished from my heart. That invincibility despawned. It spawned and despawned. Grim Reaper better hope that I live a really long time, because I have to tell you, when he and I meet in real life, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a bone to pick with that guy. <laughs> Brownie's gonna be on his on his deathbed saying, You remember all that grief you gave me in Castlevania? Forgot where I got the uh, shrimp and chicken oatmeal, but it was really good. I have to, uh, I have to do a web search.
disgusting. All right, we'll finish this up and then um, we'll move over to uh, Contra. I, I, I might throw this back on again at the end of the night, depending on how things go, but uh, I don't have any firm plans of it, but I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it as, as a possibility. hard to um it's hard to stop doing you know making attempts when we're having so many that get so close Hard to stop when you're so tantalizingly close. I know what you mean, yes. Oh. That's just exactly it, cows. It's so the the uh the goal is, is so close. So yeah, we might we might throw this back on again in a few hours, but now we really want to move over to Contra. Cross your fingers, my friends. I hope this uh I hope this disc reads. It looks rough. I 
think it's an I think it's an an X rental copy. It's got a sticker on it. It says property of video update and it's got a logo for something called video update. That's a weird name for a rental place though. Why update? It's got a barcode on it and it's got a a sticker like from a thrift shop. Traveled little guy. It's had, it's had quite the life. I hope that it still has more life within it. I'm just trying to clean off a little bit more of this uh, sticker. Alright. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to step away for a moment and uh, we'll switch things over. We'll see if this works. And uh, if it does, we'll be trying out C, the Contra Adventure, for the first time. Going in blind. I, I don't really know anything about it. You know, I've heard that... I've heard that past the 16-bit era, the, the Contra series gets pretty rough. But I've also heard people say good things about a few of them. So, who knows? And even if the reputation of this game is that it's terrible, I could still end up loving it, so... Open minds. I'll see you again in a moment. <laughs> 